This is what happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it. Live from Kristen's Nest in the Mad Rose D living room. <laughs> Kristen, can I get a few questions? Sure. <laughs> Everyone's wanting to know about this mysterious bead business that you're uh, starting up. People are wanting to buy things. What's going on with it? Can you can you lend us a little insight into it? Well, Sean, that's too loud. <laughs> I had built up a kind of like like um, store of beads, you know what I mean? Yes. But, and I went to glaze them, because these are paper beads, so you don't want to leave them unfinished, because if someone were to, someone were to be like washing their hands and they got water on it, it would be like room. Right. So, or what if somebody you have to peed do, their pants, right? What you have to do is glaze them to make them not waterproof, but just like if they were to get water splashed, resistant. they wouldn't get, um, you know, destroyed. So, I'm glazing them. And I thought I was doing a careful job, and then Mom's like, you're taking forever, try this way. And then she was having me go so fast that I was being sloppy, and what I do is I put it on toothpicks, and it got stuck to the toothpick, so all Can you of cut the, to the chase, please? All of the thinner <laughs> beads, which was about, I guess, like, a little less than maybe like a third of them that I had made so far, were thinner paper, so they stuck... More. Chris. And when I ripped, sh when I ripped it off the <laughs> stick, the bead was still stuck to the stick. Chris, I didn't need to know all this. I just need to know what the story I'm just is. Telling everyone. A little less detail, please. A little well, less detail, Rich. So anyway, a lot of my beads got destroyed. So now I ordered, hopefully, better glue and better rollers to roll the paper, so that that won't happen again. So hopefully I will have some beads ready very soon. I'm still waiting on the things to come in the mail. And I already have all my paper and junk, so I'm just waiting for that. And I'm going out with Mom this week to get the stuff to turn it into actual jewelry. Because yes. we're not going to sell just regular beads. Well, you could, but you could. you're not going to. People do that, but I would like to make it into like a bracelet or a necklace. Or right. So the moral of the story is it's a learning process. Yes, because I don't want to sell junk. I want to sell nice things. Right. Okay. Well, thanks so for... So hopefully this week I'll be able to get my beads going again. Right. Thanks very much for your time. I'm sure you'll let everyone know as soon as you get your Etsy store up and running. Yes. All right. Thank you. Hey guys, so I just finished uh, exercising my Leslie Sansone. I did the equivalent of three miles, which was pretty good. I'm aching in places I haven't been aching before, honey. That's good. Pain is good. <laughs> no, pain is not good, but it's using different muscle groups in the treadmill use, so I guess it's good to do, you know, different types of training occasionally. So until you fix the treadmill, I'm going to have to do uh, DVDs and stuff, but today we're going over Granny's house and um, doing a little recipe here. It's, um, well, of course I'm doing my own recipe, but this is what it's based on, spicy black bean burger. So, obviously it's got black beans in it, <laughs> which I, I use one can of black beans right here, and instead of using straight up black beans, I'm using the... Trader Joe's refried black beans with jalapeno peppers in it because I like it a little bit spicy. And over here in my pot, I've got one cup of, cup of quinoa cooking with a red pepper, salt and pepper, and two cups of water and garlic, like five cloves of garlic. So in the mixing bowl over here, I've got the black beans from the can. I'm going to be adding the... Um, what is that called? Quinoa. Quinoa. <laughs> when it's uh, done cooking and cooled off, along with probably about a quarter of a cup of the cilantro cooking base. Then I'm um, going to mix that up until it gets to a nice uh, firm consistency. Dredge it in some uh, breadcrumbs and then fry it in the pan. And hopefully it'll be as good as the last time I made it. I think... Um, Last time I made it though, I put in some uh, crushed red pepper flakes, but since we've got the uh, pepper, the jalapeno peppers in here, I don't know what's wrong with me. Why can't I talk? I think uh, the make, no makeup is, uh, or yesterday's makeup actually, is still eating my brain. So I'm just gonna check back with you guys when I'm uh, further along here. 
right, so no surprises. The recipe didn't turn out like they said it would. <laughs> Maybe that was because I didn't follow the recipe, but um, I added some of this Hungarian paprika in because I really like it, and I think I did that the last time that I made these as well. Uh, I had the, I had to put in um, white. It said to let it cool off, and I didn't have time for that because it's already late. It's already four o'clock, and we should have left already. So instead of letting it cool off, I put in about a cup of breadcrumbs to like firm it up a little bit, and then um, I use my scoop like you saw over here, and I think that's a half cup scoop. And it made these size burgers. I just dredged them in a little bit more breadcrumbs. I got the first batch frying in the pan over here. So basically, it's like when I do the uh, vegan fried chicken. Same principle, different flavor. So I have no idea what they taste like. I guess we'll find out soon. <laughs> and uh, hopefully they're a winner because we should have left already. That's right, Sean. Mommy just said no! And that's why. <laughs> because I dropped one on the floor. Die. Get out of here, you diabetic! Go, no, baby. go, go! I it just happens every week. <laughs> every day. All right, I need some tasty tasters up in here. All right, we got tasty tasters. I have to warn you, it's hot. It just came out of the pan. So blow on it. What do you think about that? It's good. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, what's in it? Uh, quinoa, uh, Trader Joe's black beans refried with the jalapeno. Some cilantro, some red pepper, and breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. And paprika. Ah, that's it. <laughs> Ooh, so fancy. Granny, I'm surprised you bought milk chocolate. Well, I said some don't like the dark. Oh. I like the dark intense. Usually it doesn't matter, it's only what you like. Granny likes Baker's chocolate. <laughs> Granny ate Baker's chocolate last week, straight up. <laughs> Why did you do that? I'll never do it again. I hope you learn your lesson. Just like the ancient Mayans. Mm -mm. I can't believe you ate that. I would have spit it out right at the table. Can't do that. To you. Happy birthday. Are you taking pictures with Dad? <laughs> Sean's like, I don't know, maybe. Ah, oh, yes. That was when we were at the doctor's office. Sean, do you remember that? Yes. Tell Daddy, we gotta go, Daddy. Let's go. Time to go. Pack it up. Where's your shoes? You need shoes. Shoes. All right, what do you got? Thoughts on the Olympics, first of all. So excited with the announcement of the uh, gymnastics team. So sad for Nastia Lukin, though. Yeah. That really sucked when she but fell flat she on knew, her face. Like, I'm done anyway. I didn't think she was expecting to fall flat on her face. No, that sucked. Yeah. Gaston's like, where's my food, B? Now we're watching a True Life episode about being addicted to food. And it's so bad. I want to smack these people. I know. I want a burger. <laughs> I want to smack the food out of their mouths. <laughs> you know what pisses me off? That girl, oh, somebody's playing piano. That girl who took a salad and threw it out on someone's bicycle. It's pretty messed up. This guy right here, he's going to have my salad. No, he don't want your dirty salad. What do you say? He's a jerk. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, he says he hates when people can't control themselves. I know. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Is he back yet? No. Oh. I know, you're really into this episode. Yeah, I think we've seen it already, though. I feel like I have to. Yeah. yeah. It just makes me want to sew a cow pillow. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, I want one. <laughs> Send us a Sova Kawa pillow. Just Please, kidding. my neck hurts. Ow. <laughs> All right, where's Pupson? Oh, he's getting a drink of water. Puppy, come here. Puppy. Come here, puppy. What have you got to say? Until next time, much love. Where's my Sova Kawa pillow? <laughs>